The world's longest commercial air passenger route is a fascinating topic. Indeed, many are amazed to see just how far you can push the latest generation of wide-body aircraft loaded with hundreds of passengers, whether or not the experience is enjoyable for passengers. What's particularly interesting is that the longest route hasn't gotten any longer in the past 20 years, despite the arrival of even more efficient aircraft. Maybe it's due to the simple fact that no one wants to spend such a long stretch of time on an aircraft. Or maybe it's because extra fuel is needed to carry extra fuel. And so the longer the route, the more inefficient it gets. But whatever the case may be, this could all be set to change in the coming years as Qantas looks to launch direct flights between Sydney and London on two opposite sides of the globe. Let's look at the evolution of the longest commercial passenger routes with today's video. The basis of this video is data that comes from the aviation data experts over at OAG, who recently stopped to look into the statistical history regarding the world's longest route since 1997. Over this period of time, just five airlines have held the title of offering the longest route. Quite interestingly, Southeast Asian Star Alliance member Singapore Airlines has held the title for 16 of the 27 years recorded. For over a decade, the world's longest route was a title held by four-engined wide-body aircraft. Initially, South African Airways' route between New York's JFK and Johannesburg O.R. Tumbo Airport JNB, was unbeaten. This intercontinental service clocked in at 6,925 nautical miles or 12,825 kilometers. The South African airline eventually beat its own record in the year 2000. In this year, the carrier added another 400 or so nautical miles to Atlanta, forming a route that had a total distance of 7,330 nautical miles or 13,757 kilometers. Unfortunately, SAA's reign wasn't to last. In 2004, Singapore Airlines launched Airbus A340 flights between New York's Newark Liberty International Airport, or EWR, and Singapore SIN. With a total distance of 8,274 nautical miles, or 15,323 kilometers as the crow flies, this distance has only been slightly beaten since, and also by Singapore Airlines. To accomplish this, the carrier utilized the Airbus A340-500 and its four engines for the non-stop service. At the time, this was Airbus's longest-range commercial aircraft variant. This Singapore-New York offering would last about nine years as the airline ended the service in November 2013. According to a flight global story from the time, the decision was reached as the airline sold its remaining A340s back to Airbus. However, poor economic performance is also cited to have influenced the decision. After all, if a route was profitable, the carrier would have probably held on to its long-range A340s and continued operations. In the next four years, between 2013 and 2017, three different routes would take the title of the world's longest route. With Singapore Airlines out of the picture, the longest commercial air service dropped by 822 nautical miles, or 1,522 kilometers. Thus, Qantas became the new owner of the title, operating its 7,452 nautical mile, or 13,800 kilometer route between Sydney and American Airlines hub Dallas-Fort Worth. This service was initially operated by both the Boeing 747 and Airbus A380, though the former was withdrawn from the route before 2015. The year after, in 2016, Emirates would secure a brief stay on the charts with its Airbus A380 and Boeing 777 service between its hub at Dubai International Airport, or DXB, to Auckland in New Zealand, or AKL. This service would clock in at 7,644 nautical miles, or 14,157 kilometers. The following year, Qatar Airways would narrowly beat this record, adding 332 nautical miles with its Doha to Auckland service. The total distance of this route would be 7,843 nautical miles, or 15,425 kilometers. 
Singapore Airlines would retake the title by relaunching a New York to Singapore service in 2018. More specifically, the airline would operate flights from Singapore Changi to United Hub at Newark Liberty International Airport. The Airbus A350-900 replaced its older sister, the Airbus A340, and an all-business-class layout was replaced with an all-premium configuration. This was, and still is, split business class and premium economy. The A350s flying this service aren't just regular A350s, however. Instead, they are Airbus's special A350-900 ULR, with ULR standing for Ultra Long Range. Their incredible range is not only achieved by having fewer passengers, but, as Airbus notes, is made possible with a modified fuel system which can carry an additional 24,000 litres of fuel. According to Airbus, evolving the ULR from the A350-900 was made possible thanks to extensive design and upstream industrial studies at Airbus, avoiding complex modifications. Some of the engineering development, for example, involved the relocation of sensors in the fuel system, enabling existing tanks to carry the maximum fuel load for the ULR. This eliminated the need for additional fuel tanks. During the pandemic recovery in 2021, Singapore Airlines pushed the boundary by a couple of miles, launching flights between Newark's neighbour New York JFK and Singapore. During the pandemic, this record was topped by a handful of non-stop flights between Papeet in Tahiti and Paris, France. The longest of these clocked in at 8,709 nautical miles or 16,129 kilometres. However, as these flights were one-off services instead of being regularly scheduled, they were excluded from OAG's data in examining the world's longest routes. So what does the future hold for the world's longest route? Well, ultra-long-haul travel could be about to change with the sun about to rise on Qantas's Project Sunrise. The Australian carrier is looking to reclaim the longest route title with a truly epic non-stop journey that has only been undertaken a handful of times. Currently, for Qantas services to reach London, flights either have to start in Perth, with a distance of 7,829 nautical miles or 14,500 kilometres non-stop to London Heathrow, or fly from Sydney Kingsford Smith Airport with a stop in Singapore for fuel and crew rotation. From 2025 onwards, the Australian flag carrier is hoping to fly non-stop between Sydney and London Heathrow. Such a flight would clock in at 9,190 nautical miles or 17,020 kilometres as the crow flies. To accomplish this feat, Qantas will use specially modified Airbus A350-1000 aircraft with a lower density cabin. Most people are anticipating the aircraft to be modified enough to have a designation such as the Airbus A350-1000 ULR. Considering the mission requirements, we wouldn't at all be surprised if the Project Sunrise A350-1000s had the same fuel system modifications as the A350-900 ULR. Historically speaking, the Australian carrier did once complete the non-stop Sydney to London flight using a Boeing 747-400 fuel to the brim in 1989. Additionally, much more recently, research flights for the Project Sunrise program saw a brand new Boeing 787-9 Dreamliner carrying just 50 passengers on the route. What do you make of the development of the world's longest route? What is the maximum amount of continuous time you would be willing to spend on a non-stop flight? Let us know what you think and why in the comments down below. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.